Hello YouTube. I'm going to show everybody how to put um, home files for mods for Dragon Ball Xenoverse since a lot of people apparently don't know how to do it and it's been a full year since the game's been out. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. First you'll need something that looks kind of like this. It's like this is for the create a character meaning it's not an accessory or anything like that. You can just do this. It's not hard. All you gotta do is have one of these files, just down, look it up, look for it on any kind of site. I got one from Nexus Mod, they gave me SSJ for Vegeta's hair, which is pretty cool. I have four mods that change four accessories into four different hairstyles, and it's pretty cool. And a lot of, it took me about three hours to figure out how to actually do it and get it fixed. So let's go ahead and down here, we're gonna open our file explorer if you're running Windows 10. I'm going to go to this PC, display program files times 86, go down to Steam, Steam apps, common, Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Now you'll see all of this, but normally this data, this data folder will not be in here. What you're going to need to do is you're going to have to have these two little applications right here. I forgot where I got them from, but you know. You, I'm pretty sure you can find some of these this file on one video on YouTube. I don't remember what the dude's name was or where the video is at, but you can use these two. Just throw them in here like this, and it'll replace them and all that. These basically crack into the game, whatever. Then what you're going to do is you're going to create a folder, name it data. I'm going to here, create one that says Kara, C H A R A. Inside of it, you're going to Name it HUM, H-U-M, capital H-U-M. Then what you're going to do is you're going to open it up. See, here's all my mods for all my hair stuff and all that. So, where is that file at? Here we go. Go ahead and move this over here like that. Oh, crap. I need to move it over here onto this one. There we go. Open this up. Move it over here to where it's kind of like this. So this is my personal preference on how I want to do it. I'm going to take these, you're going to copy them, and then you're going to come over here, and then you're going to paste, and there you go. And to prove this actually works, we're going to close these out, we're going to close this out, move this over here, and then we're going to open up Dragon Ball Xenoverse like this. And this works for Steam, if you're just curious, it does work for Steam, so. Oh boy. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, skip through this. Skip through the game is autosave compatible, blah 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 blah. The download is displayed. Or saving whatever is displayed. <laughs> You're gonna skip through that. Through that. Go ahead and the game start. Let it load up. See, there is um, Dr. Jero's hat accessory as Broly's hairstyle. Now, if I go down here to new, I mean, you can play it, you can use it as, I think it's either Earthling or Saiyan, but to make sure to make sure it does work, you want to use a Saiyan, obviously. I don't know if it works for female characters, but I do know it works for male characters, so I'm just going to mess around a little bit. Let's see, there it is. There's the file. There's the hairstyle. Super Saiyan 4 Goku's hairstyle as a hairstyle and create a character. Now, when you use this, people on the online roaming around and all that, they will not see this. They will see hair type, hairstyle type 5. So, unless they have this exact same file into their game, then they'll be able to see it. And if you continue down to 11, there's Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta's hair. And those are the t only two hairstyles that have in mods. And that is how you get a hum file for your mods for Dragon Ball. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you disliked it. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>